Especially coming on like you know, especially coming on remotely or something. I'm I I don't think so. Lee is signing any other question. He's spawned somewhere. Else. <laughs> so so this is a yeah, so you know, and Barbara's still in uh yeah. right. By email just this morning. So. I, I, I start the minutes and uh -huh. see if I'm not really available for the stuff. Yeah. Um I hope I, I got I got a copy of that. So um we'll we'll so far so that and we'll go to the minutes from our August meeting. Those minutes were circulated and uh, there were a couple of changes noted. Um Fran had a correction. In right, but, but also, um, where in the minutes it says Lisa surname not noted, I think we should oh, fix it to put in her name. Okay, so in um, all right, so in number two, this is from the August 23rd minutes, uh, right, this is. Oh, okay. Um, in the August 23rd minutes, there was no surname after Lisa or number 2B. The final, last name is Todd. And uh, we'll get to approval. I have the form here for approval. Um, now we're waiting to do that at the appropriate time. And other minutes changes was the. Well, my concern was in the minutes, it seemed to imply that there were only 40 stones in the Quaker Cemetery. And I thought there were 56. And then I went and looked it up, and there's actually 59 right. stones with names on them. So in the minutes, it says to repair 13 and renovate the remaining 27 stones. Well, that only adds up to 40. And I don't know um, what the cost of the job is, um, whether it was based on thinking there were 40 stones or whether this was just a mistake in the minutes. But we, we have to be aware that there are 59 stones. And I also think renovate might not really be the right word. Are we saying that there are 13 that need repairs and we're going to clean all of them? Is that what he meant by yes. renovate? Yes. There, there are 13 that were identified in the Richard Brown report of needing actual repair. Right. Okay. And then we were going to talk okay. clean with D2 solution all, all the remaining stones. Okay. So we don't end up with like 13 really bright white exactly. stones. Yeah, right. exactly. And so do they refer to that as renovating? I guess it was just, it was the verbiage I think we took right out of out of the estimate. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, now that I understand it, but we do have to be aware of the number. We did yeah. say we renovate the remaining stones. Yes. I think that's actually exactly what it does say. I just didn't know what okay. renovate meant yeah. Right. Yeah. in this context. Okay. So, so, so the issue then is twenty-seven because there's more than twenty-seven. Well, I yeah, I think the focus is on the thirteen stones that mm -hmm. need setting or but setting or whatever. Are we are we paying for cleaning just all all the stones? Or can, are we paying for cleaning fifty nine? It's 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 a it's a fairly loose written yeah estimate for estimate purposes. It says approximately. 40, but they came out one for the did the estimate walk the whole site. 59 is a lot more than 40. Okay, thank you. So we, we do need to just um in the minutes, I think, make some note that there's more than 40 stones. Right. Well Lee will pick them up when he gets the recording. Right. Um anything else from uh the August meeting? I didn't see anything else. Uh, then I entertain a motion to approve those minutes. Oh, as it's approved. Okay. Mm -hmm. with, with the as with, yeah. uh, with corrections. May I second that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. Second. So we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Do you have to go through all oh, uh, Roll call vote. Uh, Scotty. Brand. Aye. And Chair votes aye. 
<laughs> okay, approval of minutes. Um, CPA grant. As you know, the CPA grant has been submitted. And uh, if you'd like, I have a copy. This is the official signed copies that mm -hmm. proving that it was delivered on time and all that sort of thing. The whole the whole um, project description includes uh, a lot of the, the you know the stone work that's been done and all that sort of thing. The the real core of it is in the first twenty pages. And um, so well, that, it, that was a suggestion that we should try to get Niles Parker to write a letter of support. And I mentioned it to Niles, but at that point I didn't have a project description, so I only mentioned it to him in general terms. I'm not sure that we actually got any letter of support. No, I, I, I not for not, but I, not, he had, he had emailed it by the time I got an email to me, we were in front. It couldn't be just forwarded on. No. Yeah, at that point we were, you know, yeah. it was like an hour or so before we got to call it and pick them up. So mm -hmm. what happened, uh, you have to, this is the format that it has to be in. Mm -hmm. You have to have all the details, all the pages. Oh, no, no, but, but the letter of support. We did get a letter of support from Holly Backus in the Preservation right. Trust. Yes. Because I, I did a letter of support for another project and there was no constraint on the form. Mm -hmm. I just wrote a letter of support. Yeah. But did Niles actually write a letter or no? No, he, he just sent an email asking about writing a letter. When I got the email, we were already, already we already it. The printer. Yeah, they said uh, the whole package had to be to the printer. Mm -hmm. And so it was printed and bound like this. Mm -hmm. And they needed how many copies to be? Oh, we dropped off. 10. That's the 11th copy, so 10 copies to them plus and the, a what, digital version. If there had been a letter of support, it would have been bound. In yeah, it would have to be bound. And, uh, okay. uh, and I wanted to make sure we were at, I didn't want to hold up printing because we went to get <laughs> out over and right. right. I said, oh, I'm looking down, and I'm looking down, and there's probably 10 different applications, different boxes of applications. Oh, yes. really? They were very busy printing and binding to, yeah. for, to get everything submitted. Exactly. So if, if either of you would like to have a, uh, you know, to read a copy of it. Uh, I can take a copy. I can also so I have it digitally too, if you prefer. I'll, I'll look at that. You know what, I'll just, I'll, I'll take the printed sure. copy. I find it easier to read something. Um, okay. So, um, the had getting this proposal in um is a real milestone you know because one of our initial projects way back when we started was to do you know cemetery restoration work that was the initial cpa grant that we got back when we started up so uh the application for the remainder assuming that it gets approved you know that sort of thing um, this, this will take us a long way to really getting all nine town cemeteries stone set, uh, cleaned, and all that sort of thing. So, um, it's a real milestone. Well, we've come a long way since, I mean, we've already paid for the survey, so right. we know everything that needs fixing. Yeah. And we mm -hmm. fixed some way. Yeah. You know, yeah. But the Quaker to go and, yeah. and yeah. start color. So I think it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Quaker, Quaker is waiting for select board approval. Yeah. If you're not doing contracts tonight, for some reason, so it'll be next week. Um, Historic color is out to, to bid at the moment. Um, so we're waiting on that news that comes through. See who, who bids on it. I understand. Right. right. Even though we're the only ones that know this is happening. Like Alan and I had talked briefly when we were when he came by and we were during the bid grant, but possibly. I wonder if it would be worth having, putting out a bid to have a company like Richard Grubb come back and do a full documentation uh, of our cemeteries. So I was able to, we were contact, I was contacted by Officer Bates. They found a man in a new town cemetery and they thought he had disturbed or vandalized a couple of headstones. Really? So he sent me pictures and I was actually able to go into the Richard Grubb documentation yeah. because 
Fortunately, I sent me pictures with the names. Yeah. And I could search the names within the document to find the pictures. And so fortunately, all three were stones that were previously disturbed. Mm -hmm. One looked like it had been untouched. One looked like it had maybe been shifted an inch or two to the side. And one was leaning up against the fence and was now uh, laying down. Um, Alan did go over and, and walk to see if there was anything else. Uh, I, I'm not sure what the final result ended up being, but I know Officer Bates was pretty ready to charge. With, yeah. When when I, I as soon as I got a call from Charlie, I went up to the cemetery, and uh, the it was Kevin Bates, uh, state mm -hmm. state policeman. Um, Kevin had had. Uh, very disturbing, I guess it was. And whoever was, you know, yelling at each other and so on, started in the cemetery and he thought it was probably the same person or whatever. So when I was up there, I heard somebody yep. were yelling and then there was a group of um, were not kids, there were adults that uh, on the other side of the cemetery. So I walked over to just sort of check it out and I saw that they were inappropriately active or behaving. So I called the police. Concerned citizen. Well, I, I sort of, you know, as I walked by them, I you know, nodded and that sort of thing. There were five, I think there were five or six of them at that point. And um, so I walked down a little bit. I called the police. And then I would walk back to the, you know, the other side of the cemetery because I was just checking things out. And um, I heard this loud voice again yelling. And within a couple of minutes, uh, Kevin pulled in for this in the cruiser. And then the local police pulled in. <laughs> they rounded up, oh, well. I don't think they wanted any, any of them. They did see them and they took off and right. Yeah. 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 John, hello. I'm in a meeting. No, because I I went to GPW in the meeting. Yeah. That's perfectly fine. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. That's yeah. Um, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, that, that's yeah. Take a star association business. So anyway, um, that all transpired. Oh, and excuse me, but I I think when John called, I missed. Yeah. Scotty was asking. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> anyway, so. Well, it's all so, so both the state police and the local police showed up. Right. We're there. The guys scattered. Right. They they took off and so on. So the police stuck around for a while and they went over to the cow pond, which is behind the, the housing for the, the teacher or supposed to be teachers. And that was a part, you know, that's been a party spot. We've known about that for a while. Um, so I spoke later with uh, Kevin. Um, oh, he called me afterwards because he, you know, wanted to sort of follow up with what he had done. And um, we were talking about it, and I said, uh, I, I explained to him that we had had, you know, other than kids in there and all that sort of thing. I suggested to him because the town owns the cow pond that's back there behind the, the house. Uh -huh. And I said, you know, the best way to eliminate that would be for the town on their property to clear that down to the cow pond. And I said, there would be two things that they could accomplish if they did that. They would first open that area up so it wouldn't be hidden behind all the bushes and trees and stuff. And the other thing is that it would provide, if they cleared it out, would provide a place for the people who live in that area to, you know, mm -hmm. like a little park or something like that. So we'll see if anything happens. I'm going to suggest that to the powers that be um, in the town, see if we can get a correction for that. But uh, 
Anyway, that was. Can I create a little named park? Yeah, yeah, how we going to park. Yeah, <laughs> yep, absolutely. Okay. Um, well, that's the branch. Then it's. Now, Kathy isn't here. I was surprised because I sent her the information about our meeting today. Oh, I, I saw her. She was the one who received the the packets. Apparently, she was still down now. Um, so I, I spoke with her. Yeah, I, I, I know. Um, she had a medical appointment. Today and I think it was on fire, so um, so she couldn't come today. So she said maybe um, next meeting. Of course, I realized that she's RA and she needs help with the new blood. She's RA, but she has some really good skills and she's interested. Yeah, true. So anyway, uh, she said she'd follow up. And um, next item, the map that we have, uh, this is the map that we've been using for years. This was developed by Phyllis. Remember Phyllis when she was here? I worked with Phyllis. We designed this as a layout. And it was really handy because you know we have lots and all that sort of thing. So this one is pretty much full, as you can tell. We still have about three, four, seven, about seven bucks left in that section. Now, in the meantime, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we've got it in yeah, okay. the room. So, um, so three labor. We don't have enough room no. in yeah, yeah. Um, this format to simply stick the new locks on there. So, not quite sure how we do this. I was, I, I did ask Willis, um, and she said she'd be glad to help us set it up. So this is the section, this is the plan here. Okay. So these are the new lots. These are the ones that Scotty and I laid out. Um, and we also have these and this section up here. What we're doing is extending these rows and this row and this row. Mm -hmm. So, um, what we need is a new map somehow. And my plan is to meet with Phyllis to see you know, what what she can come up with. She's the one who came up with this as a format, mm -hmm. which was really good. So um, I wonder if we just recreate this same, a new one of these for the new section, you know, to the north and the new one for the new section to the south. It's a sure you think yeah, 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 yeah. it's not almost full with good one. Exactly. Two, four, six, eight, eight random plots. So once it's full, tech, unless we're going to search for a, a stone, if you were to, going to sell uh, new plots, you wouldn't necessarily need page two and she's exactly. one and three, but we could. Yeah. Well, and the printing's small enough. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, I think you want to make that any, yeah. any small. Yeah, no, exactly. That that was exactly my thought, is that we could somehow divide it to you know, fit these new pieces on a uh, parcel like this. And so right now there are nine without names attached. So is, is that yeah, that, nine? Uh, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So um now is Phyllis still here yeah. in this department? Okay. Yeah, you can move from the, the back left desk to the front right. I yes. Which is now the permit services coordinator. Oh that's right. Yeah, I, I, yeah, she she's really amazing. I mean, she really bailed us out. Um, oh, yeah. Because the, the prior administration never, you know, got all the records down, and all of a sudden we said, "Well, wait a minute, <laughs> the slot was already sold once." <laughs> so anyway, she she was really. Uh, 
So anyway, that's um, the next project is to get a new map um, of the new lots here so that we can have something to build on. This is really handy. Um, even today, I got a call from, um, let's see, what is the name? Anyway, uh, every once in a while, people will give me a call and they'll say, we brought a lot back in, blah, 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 and, and so on. And I don't remember the number. Um, and we're thinking, you know, we're thinking about uh, um, Stone for it or something. So what I do, they give me the name and I can look it up because mm -hmm. I got the names here. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's the map project. And uh, that will be our, our next accomplishment for getting us getting all squared away. So speaking of visits, I was at... Mm -hmm. So this way Lisa Todd comes up. Uh, yes, I got um let's see, let's see, So um I met this morning with um a Mr. and Mrs. King. They're from Tom Nevers, mm -hmm. and uh, I had talked with them probably a year, maybe a little over a year ago, uh, you know, in the cemetery, they had talked about a plot and so on. So that, I got a call um, either yesterday or the day before. They, they are now interested. So I met them this morning and they want to buy two lots in the new section, lots G3 and G4. So it's for them and they have some kids and you know, that's um, then Lisa Todd, I had met with Lisa out at the cemetery back uh, a, a while ago, and she contacted me by phone uh, or email, <laughs> which is not always great. <laughs> phone in particular, you know, I hang up the phone, I say, wait a minute, who was that? <laughs> so anyway, um, she wants two lots, uh, D5 and E5 in the new section. Oh, so she actually knows precisely what one she is. D4 and D5? D5, uh, E5. E5. D, yeah, D5 and E5 are the two that she wants. Now, she has already, um, I sent her a, let me just add it here a minute ago. Too many pieces of paper here. Um, Slip it into the green shoulder of my face. I saw, I saw it when you first came in. Yeah, I did it, too. It was something I asked her to so uh anyway she did send a check out oh, here it is too many papers uh too many no. boards hmm? too many boards <laughs> i know and you're going to i can send those peel back uh, so anyway, Lisa Todd um, is requesting two lots. She has uh, sent the application and she enclosed a check for the two lots and uh, lots D5 and E5. So, so she we, had never actually paid for... No, she hadn't paid before. She, she had considered them, but... I haven't taken any actual steps. Exactly. And uh, when I showed her the lots initially, this is before we had laid out the new ones. So I told her at that point, because she initially picked um, row C, I think it was two lots. So uh, I did tell her that we'd be laying out the new lots. And once I did that, um, 
I, uh, we did that. I called her. Um, she called me back. And I think how I did it is I, I took a picture of the big map and I showed her where the lots were up. And she said, okay, this is the two of the lots. So anyway, so I would entertain a motion to approve the lots for Lisa Todd. Let's I'll see. move to approve Lisa Todd's lot. Are we just doing one at a time? Uh, I mean, we can do both. And yeah. lot too. Yeah. I, I move to approve both. Okay. Uh, D5 and E5 okay. for me, Lisa Todd. So we have and for the chains? For and for the chains, what are their numbers? G3 and G4. For Kings? No. Oh, oh, King, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, wait a minute. They, they haven't paid yet. So. Oh, okay. So let's so. just approve. I move to approve Lisa's. Okay. Two for uh, Lisa Todd, D5 and E5. We have a second, in a second. All in favor? Mm -hmm. By roll call vote. Scotty? Aye. 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 And chair votes aye. So great. Those slots are approved. Then, um, King will be another day. King will be another day. I did. I gave him the form, the lot application form, and put the okay. numbers on. It, they didn't have a checkbook with them, so they said they would send it to DPW. I said, "Be sure you write cemetery permission um, and all that." Stuff. What's so, what's the numbers that you have here with King? Yeah, that's the G G three and G four. So, um, so the kings, um, I, uh, they want those two lots, G three and G four. I told them I would hold them. They were. I gave them the form. They're going to send the form with a check to the DPW, and uh, at our next meeting we'll approve those lots. Can I just ask a question? I I have forgotten. Tanya Aldridge yes. had said she wanted E2. That's the one she wanted. E2. E, e, E2. Yeah. E2. And I did, uh, I called um, her and I left a message. She, you know, at, she, she, she's not getting back to Nantucket until after the 1st of October. Yeah, that, that's, she said she wouldn't be back until later in the fall. So. Uh, that's why I called and left a message on your cell phone. So we're holding lot E2 for Kenya. So Lisa, King, King. Now I, I've um, been up there several other times um, for inquiries, but nobody has reserved anything. Like that. So basically, what I do in that situation, I'll meet them at the cemetery. Give them a little history of the cemetery, explain, answer any questions they have. And um, if they're interested, I always give them a lot application form. I explain, you know, how to get it back and so on. If they're ready to do it right then and they have a checkbook, then I'll have them fill out, I'll fill out the form or right there on the spot, and then they'll write a check and bring it in and give it directly to Chicago. So um so that's lot sales it must be this time of year i think people are getting yeah, more interested <laughs> uh, somebody called me this morning about a stone too they were going really? to they're going to get hold of lauren yeah uh, so i you know. anyway they already had the lot they uh, okay yeah. But that wasn't Charlotte Mason in the fall. Hmm? It wasn't Charlotte Mason who called you this morning about the stone. No, um, Charlotte is uh, has been in touch with uh, Neil Patterson. Yeah, to, nice to, to for, talk for, to me a couple of days ago. But right. They hadn't quite decided what it should say yet. Exactly. <laughs> so I I met. Um, a, I met Charlotte and Tom at the cemetery yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just sad, I've been seeing her for years. She she is getting older, <laughs> I was noticing. And um, 
she had some questions about the lot and about the procedures and so on. She had already been, I believe, in touch with Lauren mm -hmm. as far as the stone. And so I explained um, how it works once they need the community you know, or the uh, they need to have the whole dog and all that sort of thing. So I explained the whole process, how they all so thank you. Okay. Anything else on lot <laughs> Uh next item is Newtown Cemetery. Um Oh, but what about finances? Are we all set with that? Mm -hmm. Item seven, are we all set with this? That'll be next. Oh, that's next one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, Newtown Cemetery. Where... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at the minutes. And oh, it may oh. not be in the same order as the agenda. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. Okay. So um, with Newtown, um, the Plan for consolidation. The holdup seems to be with the town council. Lee has been trying to get them to. You know, basically, what it is is there seem to be four lots for the cemetery that somehow, when they put the path in originally, you remember they were going to put a road through there and that didn't fly. Maybe because of Ted Anderson, who was on the commission at the time. And um, so that's what we're waiting for is once we get a uh, a survey done. So I think. Okay. Yes. Well, but I think Libby weighed in on this and said, oh, there are so many things we have to consider. It sounded like we're never going to make any progress because there are so many things to consider. But it's of such low priority. Yeah. I mean, I did I did my bit. I talked to Matt and we talked to Malcolm and then got this response back from the town that uh, it's just so complicated. So many things to consider. It's so complicated and so yeah. like and yeah. you know, I mean, we pointed out that we've been trying to get this through since 2018. Right, right. And I mean Okay, the town is always very busy getting ready for something or other, but this this amount of delay is just unconscionable. We, we, Rager, I have also mentioned it to the powers that they and said, "Hey, look, you know this is ridiculous. We've been waiting for years." Uh, Vicky Marsh is the attorney who's handling it, and Vicky is doing a lot of other stuff. But always is, always is. Yeah. And, and you know, we should have our moment. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, uh, the town is aware. Um, I'm on another meeting. Uh, this is the land bank and the select board meeting about another, well, we've got a couple of other issues we're working together on. And one of the things that came out of that is that Vicki Marsh is involved with these transactions as well. So we're all on Zoom yeah, together. Yeah, I get a little, uh, <laughs> so I got a chance to speak with Vicki Marsh, who's the attorney who's supposed to be doing this. And I um, told her, you know, we have been waiting for a long time for this and we really want to get this, you know, completed. So she's aware. Her comment was, I'll get to it as soon as, as soon as I get I said, well, just be aware that this is something that first we're, we need, we're going to redo the uh, stones in Newtown Cemetery. And we need to put a flagpole up. We're going to put a parking area and uh, we're going to do all sorts of things there. And we can't do any of that until we get and this con the cemetery consolidated, yeah. however that is. So um basically that's exactly what I wrote to Malcolm and Matt. Mm -hmm. So they will see that we are speaking as one. Great. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Good. Well, they of course are participants in this other project that we're working on together too. So I'll be sure. 
mention it to both of them. So anyway, the plan for consolidation then is what we're sort of waiting for. And we have the flagpole, you remember? In fact, Charlie uh, tracked it down I, over. You actually physically got it? No. He's, <laughs> we have identified it. <laughs> I've identified it. So I was, uh, Dan Duart, if Duart's yeah. wife yeah. called me, uh, actually watched our last meeting and saved me a lot of time of searching through mm -hmm. uh, to, to figure this out. And so it is an aisle number. Linda Davis knows about it. So uh, one of the things we wanted to talk about today was possible location. For it. So I looked at the, uh, the ground penetrating radar work that was done. Mm -hmm. I mentioned kind of to Alan, but it looks like the best location might be straight in on the roadway in the middle, toward, at the back of the cemetery. Up front, there's a lot of, oh, there's a lot of small, well, yeah. like, there's a lot of stuff that's not identified they don't know, but in the back, it's very clear where they tracked over with the ground penetrating radar. So if we go kind of from the middle of the road, offset, a couple feet to the left, it should be very clear. Well, that's that's wonderful. Can, we go, can we go forward yeah. with that? If, if, if you all approve the location, I will. I didn't want to go get get the flagpole and take it out of safe storage and out of lumber to bring it here. Yeah, you, the last time we we'll yeah. move it around, so if we get it. Yeah. If, can if we take couple, action on approving the location here and now since Charlie has identified this? I sense a motion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. I make the motion that we approve erecting the flagpole in the location directly back and slightly left, slightly yeah. left of center, as described by Charlie Pollock. I'll second that. Okay. All right. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion on the motion? Charlie, any discussion? No. <laughs> All in favor? Mm -hmm. uh, Scotty? Aye. Right. And sure what's up. That so, progress, people. Good. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> While we're on the topic of Newtown, I reached out to Leo from Blackwell Associates and asked him to, if he could get me a quote as to what a survey of record would cost yes. for Newtown. Uh, I'm still waiting for that back just so we can see what that might, uh, right. you know, what, yeah. the, what the cost for that would be if it's going to be. You know, uh, big, we might, you know, we can start work on a proposal for CPA for next year. If it's something we can do within the budgetary funds that uh, we have, we could go ahead with it. So once I, as soon as I get that report, that's great. Uh, I'll let you know. So that would at least be another thing we can do on our side mm -hmm. as prepping for sort of wave it at the challenge. Right. Yeah. You know, we have, we have, because we're going to Yeah. And if we don't get the consolidation done, it's bound to cost more the longer we wait. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So I think you know, having, having the survey completed is just a good thing. We could then go back, you know, as you're talking to people about this, um, we could say, hey, we've had the survey completed. You know, we are. Well, you, you say we can go ahead and, and do the survey and pay for it before the consolidation is actually taking place. Well, in order for the, as I understand from Lee, what he says, we need to have a survey of record completed in order for the consolidation. Exactly. To take oh, exactly. that, that, that's, that's one of the steps. So you're going to find out what it will cost. You know, if it costs, let's try to get that done. Because the thing I was trying to be waiting yeah. for this since Lee did all this groundwork and we had the meeting with Erica, yeah. we could have applied for three CPC yeah. grants. Yeah. Or yeah. So, depending on how much, like I said, if it comes in at $100,000, we're going to need to go for mm -hmm. uh, some more funds. Yeah. And then, but if it comes in at Ten thousand dollars. We should be able to do that out of the operating exactly. budget. You would think a survey, particularly uh, that cemetery, there are stones in all four corners of the survey. You know, um, but of course the idea is to have a recorded survey. Well, the, you said there are stones in all four corners, but what about that triangular piece that's the part of the contention? Does that have a stone in the far corner and one at the back? Um, or the four stones forming a rectangle. Good question. I believe that the four stones. No, I'm not. I'm not Lee, sure. I bet you Lee knows. Yeah, Lee, Lee, Lee knows. Lee knows what 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 the, the markers are. So, um, yeah. So if we get a, a reasonable survey from. Leo, he might give us a break because he's done so many of all the stuff. He must have done five different. Stuff. I mean, 
you know, just moving stuff around over there. So, mm. um, so anyway, that's the next step for Newtown is to get that consolidate. Well, no. the next step is to get the flagpole up and then. The next step is the survey the in order to take out the stuff we can possibly take to get force them into the consolidation. Into the consolidation, right. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. So as I understand. Yeah. yeah. So what is the, you're going to get the survey? I'm well, trying to find out how much the survey is going to cost. We'll find out what the survey costs. Yeah. Depending on where that cost lands, we can either start to act on that mm -hmm. as soon as we can, or we may need to yeah. uh, go. So once once we know how much that'll cost, it'll dictate right. our next right. our next steps. But in the right. meantime, That's great. initial step next step will be flat hole. Right. So if if Leo can't do it for some reason because he's too busy or whatever, uh, the alternative would be to get Art with the Sparrow or um, do a marking or I. Um, you know, because both of them uh, are familiar with the cemeteries, mm -hmm. and they're both, you know, they they do that kind of work. I mean, I'm sure that they would get spit by. So, well, I'm not sure. But so anyway, we'll pursue that. Um, so that's the next real push forward is to get a new town squared away, so to as speak. As much as we can. As much as we can. And um, get it ready for going in and doing some other stone more storage. And, okay, anything else on Newtown? Any other comments, questions? Um, monument restoration project update. Um, Old North um, we still have a couple of things to do. That sign um, that's decayed and so on. Is it still there or has it taken away? I has it I bless him. I believe it's still there, but Ray, Ray says he has all the text. I had asked him about it. How, oh, is he gonna do a new one? Or? He's trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah. We had a brief conversation about it sometime after the last meeting or before. Yeah. I had asked about it. Yeah. Couple of the signs. I said, I know, I know it's still there. Yeah. It's a good to go. I have all, all the text yeah. for it. Yeah. Uh, I was to figure. Yeah. It's, I, the last time I talked with Bray, he said that he's not doing much sign work now. He's they, they're kind of doing, I don't know what else, but yeah, I think when he we talk about like the winter is kind of when he gets back into the sign shop when things start slowing down, you know, actually replacing signs and you know. And, with all the outdoor ones, like once the guys kind of get into their winter pattern of yeah. you know, brush cutting and this and that, it's not as as busy. That's when you kind of focus in. That's when he goes in, goes through his long list of street signs and to be repaired, remakes all those. And that's when he spends some time in the shop. Okay, so anyway, that's one of the things that that we'll address in that cemetery. Um, I did get a call from. Um, These, she was interested in Old North Cemetery, the um, Hasid Stone. Um, Mrs. Hussey is sort of the furthest down in the old section of where we know there are very few monuments. Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, the, the woman uh, who brought, she lives on Grove Lane. She um, was very interested in Margaret, I think it was Margaret Hussey, who was, um, uh, whose stone was down. The stone was originally flat. They had straightened the stone, they stood it up, but they had faced it toward the road. And her comment was, um, you know, it, sh it should be facing the other direction like all the other stones are. <laughs> So um, I said, well, <laughs> so I went over to the cemetery and I took a look and I saw and she's correct and all the other stones are facing oh, the, the woods. Hmm. And this this one stone um, is facing, hmm. well, not this, this one, all the ones in the back row that Ricky put in, the more recent ones, are all facing outwards because the woods is right behind them. So, 
So is the stone, if it were turned around the other way, how close to the woods would it be? It would, well, it's, it's quite a distance. I would say it's probably 25 or 30 feet away from, you know, because it's it's an isolated stone. I, I think I know exactly which one. Yeah, you mean. yeah. And the stone was repaired. It was uh, repaired perhaps sprayed. Yeah. So um, I called her, yeah, actually I called her from the cemetery uh, to discuss with her. And mm -hmm. I said, well, it, May have you know it, it was facing that way because that's that's that, that's according to the the woman who called. She said it used to face that way, and I said, well, that that makes sense because all the other older stones are all facing that that direction. But I said the newer stones that are in the back are all facing this way, so maybe when they were putting them in, they put it. In. Anyway, I don't think it's a big deal. I think that it's just fine the way it is and that sort of thing. Um, but she was she was very glad that you know she got some attention and uh, I talked I talked to her. Actually, I talked to her I think two or three times to so <laughs> get the whole story. <laughs> so anyway, that's um, that's all we want. Quaker. So, uh, Quaker Cemetery, that is on, um, we're going to pay for that. That's going to come out of the uh, receipts that we have. And do we have a quote yet? Or I, I, Yeah, it's around 9200 Yeah, that's right. So, I think that uh, we'll get that done when... Do, do, yeah, when do we have a start date or do we have to vote like, uh, I'm right now. We're waiting for select, so it's been signed by... Uh, LMC, and we're waiting for select board um, to sign off. But I anticipate we would be sometime in October by the time yeah. they sort out votes. And obviously, uh, LMC contracting, they're currently bidding on, uh, they're, they're working on, they're actually, when I talked to them, they're working on the proposal for the historic colored cemetery. Um, so they're, of course, hoping to win both to come over and do it all yeah. at once. So we'll know the final day for submissions for historic colored. I believe in September 27th or so. And then that's once they're submitted, the bids will open. Um, the award usually goes to the lowest bidder. That, those are funds are also going to come from Center Lot Sales, the operation you know, right. account. So we can award that. Uh, I would say once we do the award contract, it'd be probably a week or two, depending on where we hit on the select board cycle to get a contract signed and executed. And, so maybe a realistic comment could be uh, November. Yeah. Wonderful. So the, the possibility is that we will have Old North, um, Quaker mm -hmm. Cemetery, and Historic Colored Cemetery completed by the spring. Mm -hmm. so yes. That would be that would be great. I've got to say this summer the cemeteries look great. They do. Uh, whoever whoever the contractor is at Stoner is doing a great job. Yeah, so I know it used to be Tom um Hanley. Yeah. And uh, they did a great job, but this new these new guys are also they yeah, it is? Yeah, it's Pathfinder Tree Service on Wolf. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they're doing a great I, job. I had family visitors over Labor Day who come all the way from San Diego and they Wanted to visit family right. graves, and they actually were not done. Yeah. Well, I, okay. I hear from Tom Montgomery on a regular basis uh, about the church. And uh, so, whenever I see him, I, you know, so Tom, if he noticed the cemetery, and he did, he said, Yeah, you know, hey, you know, you're looking great now. So that's, good. that's a good sign. Whenever somebody like uh, Tom Montgomery says they're doing good. <laughs> Um, for his historic colors, I mean, the road down is that on town? We don't know if that's town property or is that cut through the land back? When you when you come down, oh, when you go there, Vesper Lane. Yeah, when you come yeah, off that, the, that's the land bank. That's the trail. Right. The land bank mows that trail, um, and the, it used to be there used to be a road by the cemetery. And we, the cemetery commission, were involved with negotiations 
uh, because the town had to give up that road in order to allow the hospital because the hospital needed no room. So um, they guaranteed us some parking. Mm -hmm. the, the hospital guaranteed us some parking. Right, they did. There, there are three spaces. Um, as you pull in behind the hacienda parallel to um, the cemeteries. So there are supposed to be three spaces there, but parking is really not an issue because um, on the street parking, uh, on what's that, Vesper? Or is that, yeah, Vesper or Vesper, whichever way, Vesper way. On Vesper Lane, there's plenty of street parking, both in front of, you know, where the cemetery is. There is that mode path that goes across the land bank property up to the cemetery. So. Yeah, I was curious about the um, for coming in from Mill Hill. There's that to drive a vehicle down the park right next to yeah. the if, if okay. I'll, 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 I'll reach out to the land bank, see if we can get the brush kind of pushed back. I drove right. down in there the other day. I'm just gonna throw out a contractor to try, to get, try to get a truck down in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, it might be nice to have that, you know, cut back so they don't construct right. their yeah. their trucks kind of truck. They uh Mo used to do that. He, you know, they would uh, go in there and, and trim it out and so on. It is pretty bumpy in places, but yeah, uh, but you can get in there. I mean, I I will sometimes. It's the brush. I I've actually scratched the side of my car going in there. It's exactly the founders. It's fairly tight getting into there too. Which yeah. Also, the yeah. uh, initial road is. What I'd like to do at Founders, by the way, is to enlarge that parking area because what happens is there's not quite enough room to pull in and back out and turn, you know, turn around. So you have to go up to the cemetery, back around in the cemetery, and then go mm -hmm. down. So, um, so anyway, we should put that on our, our list of uh, you know things to see next time they're up there kerning or whatever to uh, do that. Huh. It's amazing to think that there was no access to the to this the you know, the the uh, Congress burial ground for years. Um, and people would get run off. Hmm? Uh, butters would actually run people oh, off. Yeah, well, exactly, they would, because there used to be all sorts of roads into the cemetery and so on. It wasn't uh, Jack Gardner was the first one who mentioned something to me about it. He said this was kind of must have been 30 years ago. Anyway, it's a long time ago. And he said, Are you aware that there's no access to the um, Congress Pharaoh? I said, What? <laughs> so that's when it all started. I was on the Roads and Waterway Committee. And so. And you secured the easement. Right. We negotiated an easement um, with the Anglers Club. Of course, now the land bank owns that property. We bought it from the English Club. But at the time, we negotiated. Um, fortunately, John uh, Stackpole was head of the English Club, mm -hmm. and he was also a uh, land bank commissioner. So we had a discussion about, you know, what would it take to get an easement? <laughs> oh, God. The thing, you know, who, who'd have thought? <laughs> anyway. Um, the uh, so Old North Quaker Cemeteries, uh, Cemetery Commission. Oh, the capital and operating budgets for fiscal 23. Um, Charlie's been taking care of that, sort of. And, and um, we have, for the first time, <laughs> that this is one of the issues that we had with. Um, the former BPW person who, you know, the record keeping was a little casual. <laughs> and we never had a budget, we never had you know, that sort of thing. The expenses, anyway, that was a whole different story. Uh, so we do have now a capital um, and operating budget for the first time wow. in my memory. <laughs> No, we're looking forward to 2024. 
Mm -hmm. Well, we're in fiscal mm -hmm. 24 mm -hmm. right now. Oh, hell Shall I first? Oh, that's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. I can never remember. Oh, trying to. Fiscal 2024. I was planning up in this. We're talking about 2024. Right, we're talking about 2024. As a former teacher, you know, my year was based on the school year, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so then, you know, getting to a normal calendar was always a challenge. You know, having a fiscal year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, so anyway, we do have those those budgets in place. Uh, okay. Any. New business? Any commissioner comments? Any things? Um, it's done approval forms. Oh, um, yeah. Lost my way with those. And because of, of the transition over with Norm, and can I grab one? Sure. And I can make a copy of them. Just happen to have a copy here yeah. because Norm gets the, the, the monument application. Correct. Correct. Can I just take them? Yeah. And that's and where we bring that in mm -hmm. and we approve them. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now Lauren had reached out to the DPW, but they stayed the car. But that was just part of the transition. Anyway, I'm good. Good. All right. Okay, this goes to this, this, this. So, um, any other business to come before the commission? Not for me. Nothing. Okay. Well, yeah. there we are. Yeah. At the end of our agenda. Oh, I'm glad we had the meeting. You know what it's been? I know. Thank you, Scott. Bro. I know what a challenge it can be. All right. Well, I think. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah. All your work, Mike. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Charlie's a game been. changer. Yeah, exactly. Charlie has really been a savior in terms of you know getting stuff done. Yeah, and lining stuff up to be done in the future. Did you announce it with Jerry? Uh yes. I think so. Yes. <laughs> See you in October. Okay. Scotty. Yes. I 